So I haven't filmed a video blog for um, over a week. And so while I took this little break, I was trying to gather like gather my thoughts and like how I should do this video blog because I enjoy doing video blogs. It's just finding the time to do it um, during the day and like, I don't know, I, like I need like something a little more scripted, something like, because there's a lot of like, uh, pauses, uh, and it's like I'm trying to struggle to find things to say. So I have decided to um, like make a list of certain things that I'll cover, um, if there's some questions that um, people have like, um, like comments people have left me or like uh, tweets or whatever, like I can just, you know, put them all together and then answer them. Just like my first video blog, because that was like a lot more structured and, you know, we had this whole thing flow going. So I've decided to do that now with all my video blogs. And also, I have... Um, chosen a day to always upload a video blog and I've chosen that day to be Sunday because it will be the last day of um, the week and so if I purchased anything or anything exciting happened or not so exciting happened during that week I can cover it on Sunday so I've decided on Sunday as my video blog day that's like a set day but if something happens during the week that I'm like, I have to video blog this, then I'll do it. Like if I do something fun with the kids, if I'm deck, well, that would be a DIY, right? Like if I'm decorating the house or like doing something, I mean, that's different. But as far as video blogs and like keeping up with like everyday stuff, I have decided to do that on um, Sunday. Okay. So starting this coming Sunday, um, I'll always have a video blog up for you. Um, speaking of this coming Sunday, um, this weekend, I'm going to be in San Jose uh, supporting my cousin's um, football game. He plays for BYU. And so I will be up there. I hope it's not cold, but I guess I'm going to do my weather research, of course. And um, um, okay, so video blogs. I have decided to keep my video blogs between 10 and 15 minutes. 10 is ideal, but if I like blah, blah, blah on it won't run more than 15 minutes because I mean my attention span is like so if I'm watching like a video that's too long that's just kind of boring and then I'm just like oh let me watch something else but I want you guys to watch the full 10 minutes and um, I guess if I go a little <laughs> if I go a little over <laughs> it, it would be 15 minutes sorry my husband is looking at me I can see him through the glass yeah speaking of my husband he left me this weekend to well not like that but he had plans to uh we kept moving around Millie's birthday because her birthday is this Thursday so of course I am going to have a birthday video blog on Thursday just for my little princess Millie and then I'll have one on Sunday so every Sunday always but if it's anything during the week it's a bonus right like a DIY or like anything else um Sorry, this is so random, but the mole on my nose, it's like getting bigger and bigger, like, every month. It's like, that's like so, like, annoying. Anyways, um, okay, so, uh, let's see. Yeah, so, uh, this weekend my husband is away, so I went to Nosbury Farm with the girls, and we had a lot of fun. Um... Yeah, I, I, I have a little video of us driving there because I like to sing and dance in the car and keep the kids, like, uh, entertained. I know, right? While I'm driving. Um, and so we did that. I'm going to find the clip. I think it's in my phone. And I will upload that. Um, also, I wanted to show you guys my new case. It's like um, a sequence case. A sequenced case. And, um, yeah, it's just sequence all around. Sorry I didn't do a DIY, but I can tell you what I did. It was just E6000 glue. I did them in sections, and then I just, um, the sequence, I just kind of just dipped it in there, and then let it sit for a, a day, of course. I did the whole thing, and then I let it sit for a day, and then here we have it. It's kind of fun, right? I want a skirt like this. It just looks so, like, fun and sparkly, and I love it. Um, 
Okay, uh, so I tweeted um, earlier this week that I am trying to perfect this um, winged eyeliner look. So I put this on today and uh, I have watched a lot of video blogs that, uh, you know, they kind of like give you tips and, and tricks to getting this winged eye look. Some of them are a little extreme and go up, some of them go down and then up. And I have just found that this one has to be like my most favorite. Okay, let me just show you what I used. So to get this look, um, these are both drugstore. I just used this, uh, what is this? High Definition Liquid Eyeliner by NYC. And um, it's black of course, and it just has like this felt, like this felt tip. Let me tell you, I kind of had to improvise because I started using this felt tip, but it wasn't giving me this like dark look, right? So with this Maybelline New York Eye Studio one, it comes like this. And uh, I used to use like one of those eyeliner brushes, but then I find that it like the bristles, maybe it's the quality of the brush that I was using, but they don't like let me, they don't give me this like really nice like line. So I liked this one because it gave me that nice line, but it wasn't dark enough. And I like this one that it was dark, but the brushes that I was using, I know I need to get new brushes, but the brush that I was using for this, um, it wasn't giving me that nice line. So I decided to use this and this to create this. Okay, so that's how I got this look. And then for the bottom eyeliner, oh my goodness, I have fallen in love with this NYX. Um, you see the tip? It like has glitter. Can you see that? Yeah, see, you see the, the glitter? It's like black glitter. It's called Black Shimmer 940 NYX. Love this. You can't really, yeah, you, you can kind of see the glitter, but I like, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it has like, oh yeah, you can see it. It has like this glitter, like it's black eyeliner and I love how it like goes on really strong. And um, it like gives it this little shimmer. And you know, I love shimmer. Like my polish is always shimmer. Like I like little like little, well this is subtle to me. So like little subtle sprinkles, glitter, love that. And so I got this uh, from Ulta. Okay, and then next, um, someone asked me about like how I get this. Okay, you have to understand like on video, like while I'm shooting this, um, if you saw me right now, you would actually say that I have a lot of lip gloss on, but for it to actually show on here, like I have to put extras on it. So I'm just going to show you guys what I used. Um, I didn't purchase these products. I've had them, but I use this NYX natural. Yeah, it's called natural 810, this natural liner, right? So I line my lips with this natural liner. And then I just get like, this one is wet and wild, but you, whatever natural color, but this is the one that I'm wearing right now. And um, so I use that natural liner and then I fill in my lips with this, um, what is this called? Sun glaze. But you can use any, like whatever natural color you have. So um, that's how I got this look. So I don't know, I'm really feeling the natural like the natural lip if my eye looks like like this, you know? Or even like the whole smoky. I don't know, lately I've just been into this whole natural thing. So that's that. Someone asked me about that, my eyeliner, um, when I Instagrammed it, that I'm trying to perfect this look. And I've tried all, like every day I'm doing my eyeliner just so I can practice. So that's how I practice. I don't know how, I mean, you guys may want to do it only when you go to church or when you're going out somewhere, but I do it every day until I find a look that I really like. And this is the look that I like. I like. So what else? Okay, so Knott's Berry Farm. Um, we went to Knott's Berry Farm this past Saturday. We kept, we were undecided with the dates because I wasn't sure if I was really going to San Jose this weekend because ideally we wanted to go to Knott's Berry Farm after her birthday. So her birthday's Thursday. We wanted to go on Saturday, but we ended up pushing it up to the Saturday before because I'm going to go to San Jose. But then it was the Saturday that my husband was going to Baltimore. So I went with four girls. Well, no, three girls and my son. Um... And we just made sure it was four so they could get on rides together. And um, it was actually like a smooth, like it was, I mean, I thought it was going to be a little um, 
more challenging for me, but like we all stuck together, we all held hands, like we were just, um, we stayed together. I didn't lose any children, whew. Um, but uh, we had a great time. The kids got on six rides. We would have gone on seven, but when we got closer to the line, like the skateboarding um, ride broke down or something, they were having technical difficulties. So they got on six rides. Um, and um, we had a good time. Millie had a really good time. And then all the little girls got, um, they picked uh, these little pony charms. I should have brought it to show you. But uh, they picked these little uh, pony charms um, as like a friendship type necklace thing. And um, yeah, they had a blast. They had, they had a lot of fun. And so we were only there for, I want to say, five hours. And uh, yeah, we had a good time. Um, so let's talk about like these little items that I purchased this week and um, first I want to talk about these boots that I am like so in love with you can't see the real color of course because ugh, my iPad sucks with the quality of color but um, this is like a raspberry like a, and it's like a knee high boot now like for Polynesian girls with like bigger calves than normal, these are so like these are like these like I have a lot of space and I have like I don't have like the normal calves, I'm not even gonna lie. So to find boots that fit on my calves, I'm purchasing them. They could be like purple and green and yellow together and I'm getting them. If I can if I can get like knee high boots, um I'm getting them and I got these and I love them. I wore them Saturday, um, Saturday and Sunday because that is how much I am in love with these and it's like a suede and I got no. and um, I got these from Torrid. Um, I thought I was going to have to get a bigger size because, well, you know, the bigger size shoe but I really didn't. I wore them already and I love them and I'm just going to keep them. But I love these. I like love these. And they're like a raspberry color, if I didn't say that already. And then I got these also from the same place. And um, these are on clearance. Now, let me tell you, you always have to check what they have on clearance because you can find some really nice stuff. And these are just so adorable. I want to show you one. And they look like this. Ow. Hmm. And uh, they look like this. This is like a three, oh, like a hmm, like a yeah, three inch heel. This is on clearance. It's just a little dusty, so I mean you can always fix that. But these were only um, eight dollars. Can you believe that? I love this boot. Sorry. Okay, I love this boot. So always check what's on clearance first, and then you move your way to like the new arrivals, I guess. Um, so th those are it for boots. Um, I stopped off at Bath and Body Works, and this just shows you how much I love this because look how much I've used, and I just bought this on Friday. Oh shoot, today's Monday. So and this is called White Citrus. I love this smell. I got this, the um, cream, and the lotion. And so, yeah, I love this. Love it. And then also from um, Bath and Body Works, I got this Fruit Punch Lip Gloss. And I got it in this, like, fuchsia pinkish color, but it doesn't come out like that. Oh shoot, did I rub all of this on my shoe? I hope not. Um, it comes out like this. It's really nice, it adds a little color and then it tastes like fruit punch. Really nice, I like it. Um, so, something that I am so loving right now from um, CVS is, are these lip, wait no, these balm stains. I absolutely love them. Look at this. I'm telling you, I'm, there's something about me in this natural, um, natural lip look. But this one is like a natural color, and it is 
honey. I also have this one. I just purchased this one this weekend or this week, but I have this one that I've um that I bought like I think a month ago. But I'm really into balm stains. And if you don't know what balm stains are, they just kind of I like this because it, it gives me like that natural look. And I think these are like these last six hours or something. I mean, of course they don't fully last, but they still like um Hints of the colors, like it stains your lip basically, if you don't know what a balm stain is. And uh, something's in my eye. Again, something's always in my eye. But um, yeah, I'm really feeling these balm stains. So this is the balm stain right here called Honey. And then this one is called Smitten. Ooh. And then so you can see the difference. That's funny, this looks like this. Yeah, it sure does. So this is smitten, but I really love honey. I wear it every day, and it just gives me that little, um, just like the natural, it gives me like a natural lip color. That's what it does. So I love that. Another thing that I picked up from CVS is this Milani brow pencil. And um, yeah, my eyebrows are looking a little thinner than normal because I've been like, doing them at home and I'm noticing like every day I'm like plucking and plucking and soon I'm gonna have like no eyebrows seriously I love this because it has this spoolie thing at the end where you like can blend all your colors in your eyebrows together and uh, and then it has it just comes with this I think this is dark brown yeah it sure is it's dark brown I like this. I don't love it. I just, I like it. But I play around with all kinds of eyebrow pens because it's just what I do. And, um, yeah. But that's, that's what I'm wearing right now, that Milani dark brown. Then we have this e.l.f. Can you see that? e.l.f. Eyelid primer. And, of course, primer, it's for your, um, your eyelids before you put on your eyeshadow. So this is pretty cool. I've been using this and, um, well, this week. And when I bought that, it came with these. I got it from Target. Um, it came with these um, two colors, uh, nice and naughty. And these are really nice and fun to play with. Um, I showed you this eyeliner pencil. And then the last thing I purchased were these Milani um, eyeshadows. It's like that purple and that pink. Aren't those fun? They're just so fun. I have like all these eyeshadows, but I just, I would rather have like the options to pick them, even though like I'm not gonna, you know, some of them I haven't even worn yet, but I just like the option. Like if I wanted to do a pink, at least I have pink. Okay, I have like three pinks, but anyways, I, I like options. I love options. Doesn't everybody? Mm. Okay, and um, I think that's, I think that's it for like things that I purchased throughout the week, this week. And um, I want to touch up on the magic. So I've kind of been like falling behind on the magic. Because like, I don't know, I've just been falling behind. And of course, the magic is something you have to stick to and you have to do it for those 29 days. And I've kind of fallen off like this weekend. I just, I've been having a little too much fun than normal. And so I, I stopped doing the magic, I think on Thursday. And um, so I am, I'm probably, I no, probably, I am going to start over with the magic, but try and stay very consistent because, so I fell behind on the magic um, earlier last week and I tried to catch up. Like I tried to do two days two days worth of thank yous and everything else in one day and then I was good and then I fell off like last Thursday so if you're gonna do the magic you have to make sure you're very consistent and you're sticking to that whole like 28 day schedule so yeah I, I'm gonna have to start over so I'll probably start over after I come back from San Jose but um it's a really good exercise, a really good book, and I still recommend it. I'm still going to do it over again. But um yeah, I just feel like I'm gonna, I'm a lot a lot farther behind because I've stopped doing it for this past weekend, so I'm just going to do it over again. 
And um, I think that's it. My daughter's calling me. So mommyhood is calling. I've got to go. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Smile at the ground, it ain't hard to